Have you ever wanted to become an inspirational or motivational speaker? The ability to help people change their lives with just the power of your words is extremely powerful and fulfilling. But have you ever thought to yourself, what are the actual steps to becoming a motivational speaker? I mean, let's face it, it's not a normal career path where you just go out and get yourself a degree in motivational speaking. Well, having been in the personal development industry now for well over a decade and having delivered hundreds of presentations during that time, and also spoken on stage with the likes of Dr. John Martini from The Secret, uh, John Astraff from The Secret, Lisa Sasevich, Jay Conrad Levinson, just to name a few, I know it's a highly rewarding career that can make an impact on the world as well. And the good news is you don't have to be famous or have a wildly outgoing personality to make a difference and a living as a speaker. In fact, people who actually know me would often refer to me as quite an introvert, believe it or not. There are, however, three things that you do in fact need to do. Number one, you need to prepare a great speech. They say that when an opportunity meets preparation, it produces the offspring we call luck. And when you're lucky, let's face it, success is inevitable. Now, if I gave you the opportunity right now to speak in front of, say, 100 people, what would you talk about? If you're not sure, if you don't have a talk prepared and ready to go, then sadly, that opportunity is not gonna become a reality in your life. And if you're not sure what to talk about, think about what your message is. Like, what would you love to uh, let people know about? Like, is there a topic or an area of life that you wanna share? For, I mean, think about it this way. If it was your last day on planet Earth and you could utter uh, some final words of wisdom, what would they actually be? Now, if that's too big a question for you, then just start with an idea, like an aha or a moment or something cool that you recently learned, maybe in a book or a documentary or something. I often like to think that if I was walking down the street and I passed someone on the street and I could only say one sentence to them, what would that sentence be? And then you can write a talk about that. For me, the sentence would only actually be three words, live your love. So begin with that process. Now being a motivational speaker starts with a great speech, but you don't have to have like hundreds of hours of content ready to roll off your tongue. You just need a five minute speech ready to go and start there. And once you have the speech that motivates people, well, technically you're a motivational speaker. I mean, that's really the starting point. Now that may sound a little bit simplistic, but it is in fact true. Motivational speakers are nothing special. They're just prepared. Once you deliver the speech, people will come up to you and they'll say, you know, when is your next talk? Can you please let me know? I wanna bring some friends along. And from there, it just grows and grows from just that one speech. They say that if you build it, they will come. Now, the second big thing is to speak often and speak everywhere. Now, you need to hone your craft through practice. Sure, there are many skills that you can learn along the way, like stage anchoring or telling great stories or how to build confidence or emotion in the audience. But learning all those things won't matter if you don't practice speaking. They say that the way you learn to play the flute is by actually playing the flute. And speaking is exactly the same thing. The way you become a better speaker is by speaking. Now, many amateurs just don't realize this and they're caught up chasing bright, shiny objects or they're searching for this next silver bullet that will turn them magically into a motivational speaker. I remember my business partner once asked me, what's the minimum number of people we would need in a room before we actually canceled one of our events? And I said to him, well, one person, besides me, of course, because if there's an opportunity to inspire someone, it's still an opportunity to practice your skills and also bring some joy to someone's life. I like to subscribe to what the late, great Dr. Wayne Dyer would often say when he was out there promoting his book sales, driving from town to town across America. He said that when I was promoting my book, if there was two rats in a sewer, I would go and speak to them. And so you've got to drop the ego when it comes to that. It's not about the size of people in the room. It's about inspiring whoever is in front of you and getting your skills better. Now, point number three is about the business side of speaking. My advice here is to promote and run your own events. Now, let me explain. When it comes to making money as a professional speaker, there are actually two paths that you can take. Path number one is where you get paid to deliver a speech at someone else's event. Now this could mean that you're a keynote speaker where companies or organizations um, hire you out to deliver a great speech to motivate their team. It could also mean that you deliver a presentation and sell your products at an event that someone else promotes and has marketed and runs it for you. 
Now, path number two is where you market and run your own events and also speak at them. Now, if you think about most successful motivational speakers out there in the marketplace, you will notice that they promote their own events. Now, this gives them the flexibility, but it also gives them control. Control over not only how the event is run and how often it's run, but control over their income which is important to earn an income if you want to be a professional motivational speaker. Now, when you put these three tips into practice, you'll be well on your way to becoming a motivational speaker and making a difference in other people's lives. And I just want to commend you for having the courage and the heart to go out and really inspire people. And from one fellow difference maker to another, I, I really do commend you. Well, my name is Benjamin J. Harvey, the co-founder of Authentic Education. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And until we meet again, Share your light, live your love, and do whatever it takes to be your own best friend. Bye for now.